bit of a slow start to the morning, guys. I played a game of mixed basketball last night, and I have woken up so sore this morning. I feel like an 80-year-old man, but the Tuesday vlog is back, and I am very excited about what we've got ahead today. I'm going to actually jump into something I've never spoken about on this channel before, and it's regarding business expenses. So how much does it actually cost to run an eBay business? And I don't necessarily mean the postage costs and the inventory costs. I mean all the other little bits and pieces that form an eBay business. So we're going to dive into that information today, and I'm also going to show you three three items that I've bought over the last 12 months that I truly believe every reseller should have. So hopefully you get some value out of all of this today. It's going to be a normal day as well with all the other stuff as well. So let's dive into the first thing we always do on a Tuesday and grab the overnight sales. First item up guys was this Atlanta Braves 1995 World Series hat. This was an absolute beauty found in the thrift. I've only paid $2 for it and it's gone on to sell for $43 plus $30 international shipping to get this one over to the United States. So a $55 sale price in the end when I get my discount with the Australia Post My Business Plan. But guys, new era, as you can see there, if you can find these sorts of hats and certainly the baseball caps like this one with anything unique like that embroidery on the side there, you're gonna do very, very well. So very happy to get the result here. I'll profit about $40 on this one. This was a really interesting one. So this is a vintage style FC Barcelona soccer jersey. It's a size small, the tag on it is Toffs. There was no comps on eBay to tell me about this one, but I actually like this because I thought it might be something that somebody could frame up. So I thought there was a chance of this one selling for a pretty good price. I only listed it though for $40. And after a 60 day sales cycle, this was actually not getting too much traction. So finally yesterday, I got a best offer for $35 and I had to take it. Got it in a wholesale bundle. I've only paid $7 for it. Now, but able to make myself in the end probably about a 15 to 20 dollar profit with this one but kind of cool nothing too crazy about this next sale guys i've been able to sell chris lily we can be heroes the special edition dvd this one i thought would go for a lot more than it did it only sold for 15 dollars and i bought it blind in the thrift store for three bucks so wasn't sure on what the comps would be and in the end it actually was a whole lot less than i thought it would be so in the end i don't think i'm going to be able to actually get this one into a large envelope either I think it's going to have to go on a small satchel and therefore I'm probably only going to break even on this one. So these are the next ones. Converse All-Stars American Flag. How cool is that? They are in excellent condition as well. Not a lot of wear. Um, I've ended up making a $25 profit on these. They've sold internationally, no doubt, to the United States and uh, I've ended up making a $60 sale. So $30 for the shoes on best offer and uh, $30 for international postage. So I'm going to send them off to the States for 18 bucks. Turns into a $42 sale, paid $8 for them, $25 profit after fees. Another pair of shoes, guys. I've been able to sell the Nike Dual Fusion 3 women's running shoes, an awesome pair in excellent condition. Now, I don't know exactly how much I paid for these. They would have been no more than about $10 in a thrift store. Very recently, too, a really quick sale cycle on these ones. I've sold for $48.95. So I think I've probably gone just under my $30 profit. I reckon they'll fall about $25 to $30, um, but a pretty cool get in a very quick space of time. Nike, the best running shoe brand you can buy when you're in the thrift. If they are in excellent condition, you'll always get top dollar. And the last one was a very, very cheap quick sale of a pair of Billabong board shorts. So I've got so many board shorts, guys, that I have stopped doing these, but uh, they are selling for me. Every now and again, they'll come through. So $22 was the sale price on these plain gray board shorts. Um, probably only gonna make me about an $8 profit. And uh, for that reason, I don't really buy too many of these anymore. So there we go, my friends. A total of six sales that have come through on eBay over the last 24 hours. Now, my eBay account tells me that I've made about $280 worth of revenue. So really nice to get two international sales. The shoes are continually selling for me. Nice to get a DVD and a pair of board shorts. And this Barcelona jersey, what an absolute crispy piece that one is. So really happy, guys. I'm going to halve the $280 and say that I've made about $140 profit on this lot. That's my cat, everyone. Just staring into absolutely nothing. What is he doing? I think he's trying to get some sun. Now, a few of you might be thinking, where is Houdini, my van? And I have a good explanation for that. It is not stolen. Uh, it is 
going in for a bit of a repair, a bit of a service. Um, so I'm without it for the next few days, but um, hopefully it's not too bad and there's not too much of an expense there to have to pay for it to get fixed and uh, I'll be back in a, uh, in the not too distant future. But for now I've got the old man's car and uh, that serves the purpose. I can even still get furniture as well. So it's not too much of a loss over the next couple of days, but um, I do look forward to getting her back. That's for sure. Oh, we are gonna have a really good day today, guys. I've pulled up at a local thrift shop. I'm gonna do three today, and hopefully we can find some really cool stuff. I'm gonna show you everything that we pick up, but I have broken a golden rule, guys. And normally at 9 a.m., I would be doing my 10 listings, but here we are going out thrifting for the morning. It was too nice of a day out here today to be cooped up at home. So I did wanna to touch on one point regarding all of that, and that is death piles. I know a lot of you guys have death piles out there, and you're only a beginner reseller. You shouldn't really be having death piles. They're more so for those, I guess, a full time that needed as a bit of a safety net. Now, look, for me, providing some context, I've got a 1,000 item eBay store and I've only got 10 items sitting at home that aren't listed. It's something that I did right from the very beginning because I just simply wanted sales, but it's proven to be a huge step in making sure I get consistent sales on my eBay account. So, if you are new to reselling, my one piece of advice regarding death piles would be to make sure you list your items within the first 24 to 48 hours of sourcing the items. I know whenever I've left it three or four days, I don't have the love of wanting to list the item. I don't have the excitement of having bought it. That's all worn off and therefore I then don't want to list the item. So I encourage you guys, first 24 to 48 hours, make sure you're listing them up. And if you've got a huge death pile sitting at home, eliminate it. Get rid of about 10 a day for the next week before you go out thrifting again. Knock off 70 of those items. Whatever the case may be, set yourself some mini goals. It's going to go a long, long way to making more sales on eBay. Having said all of that, let's go out thrifting. Some things never change, guys. Here we are back in the men's shoe section. I've been able to find these Nike Capri 2 mids. Awesome pair of Nike shoes, $10. I'll turn them into 50 Also found the Saucony women's running shoes. These are the Guide 5s, and the soles were so great on them. I'm going to try and push about 50 bucks for these as well, but have a look at this. The Harley Davidson tee for $3 with a monster back print on it as well that you're going to see in a second. Look at that. This was just an awesome piece. I'm gonna try and push 50 bucks on eBay. I found this as well. This is just gonna go on my desk, a bit of a desk display. So I was pretty happy to pick that one up. But then this, the game that everyone wants to find on the Nintendo Wii for $3. Mario Kart, an absolute steal. This is the easiest way to make $30 on eBay. A ripping find. Well, guys, we have absolutely come away with a huge first round get. Uh, we've still got two more op shops to go, so you never know what we're going to find. But six items, you won't believe it. $20 was the total uh, spend. So, what's that? Like four bucks, three bucks an item? Yeah, like $3.50 an item. That is just ridiculous. Um, that Harley Davidson tea, no doubt, probably the best of the bunch. Um, two really cool pairs of shoes that will go on to sell well. And. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it so far, so let's keep charging. Fingers crossed we can get a few more. So I really like jumping into this op shop on a Tuesday because they are closed on a Monday. So you generally get the weekend uh, where people drop off their stuff and then throughout the day on a Tuesday, they generally drop off some gems. So for any local Gold Coasters out there that know of this op shop, um, yeah, come on a Tuesday. It's the best chance to get some great items. Now guys, this was the last op shop that I actually went into for the day. I found this Sonic the Hedgehog 2000 model toy and that's gonna sit on my desk as well. Who remember Furby? $2 for these guys. I didn't think it was working so I had to leave that one behind. Found the Nautica shorts. These are 100% polyester, 38 waist. They'll go for about 30 bucks on eBay. Just paid $4. And then I saw these Ralph Lorenz for five bucks but a big stain on the front leg so I had to leave them behind as well. Found this one as well, Stussy, Stussy. Um, I think this is a, a, a women's medium. I'm not 100% sure sure but i have gone ahead and picked it up for six dollars so in the end guys i got out of there i'd spent 10 bucks on these three items not too bad of a run to end the day All right, 
Alright guys, let's have a quick chat about business expenses. By no means is this tax advice. I'm not going to be talking about write-offs or anything like that. All I'm doing is talking about my expenses to have this business set up and running. So the first area that we're going to have a quick look at from a, an expense perspective is this room. Everything that I actually had to spend to set up this office space, how I need it to be to run effectively. So what I really want to say about your office setup is you can really use Facebook Marketplace to your advantage. The desk that I'm using here, I literally got it for free off Facebook Marketplace. It's an awesome desk, so it works completely fine. I got it for free. The bookcase that you can see behind me, I've got that one plus the DVD one that you'll see all the time as well. Facebook Marketplace, $50 for those two bookcases. So you can really kind of set yourself up for a very low cost if you buy off Marketplace. Um, so they were some really kind of cheap options there. Um, the computer I already had, so I classed that as an existing uh, purchase from previous years. And then it was the monitor, this big monitor that I've got here in front of me. I did pay $300 for that um, earlier this year. So that was definitely one larger expense. Um, and then the Dymo label printer, that one was $100 for the Dymo label printer, but I, I do swear by that. And I'm glad that I did purchase it. It certainly helped my business. So really guys, the entire office setup in here this year has cost me $520. And when you pull out this computer monitor, it's really been almost a free setup, a free office setup, taking advantage of Facebook Marketplace. So if you are trying to set up your own eBay business, definitely look there first and, and you'll find that you actually won't have to take a lot of out of pocket to get it how you need it to be. The next category that I want to have a talk about was stationary, all the little bits and pieces. So you've got your bubble wrap, your sticky tape, your tape measure, just anything sort of misc related stationary items, receipt trays, coat hangers, all these sorts of things. My total out of pocket was $390 in this category. So I thought that was a whole lot less than what I thought it would be. I've definitely bought a lot of sticky tape this year. That's sort of where that $390 uh, goes to. It's, it's mainly sticky tape. Everything else are more just sort of one-off purchases, but the bubble wrap I actually get for free. So that is a huge win when it comes to stationary for me. I do get it off my old man through his work for free. So that, that's actually a huge win. Um, but $390 over the course of a year for stationary items to set yourself up with all of that office set up, I thought it was pretty cheap. And then the next one is the listing setup. So everything that you can kind of see here, plus also all my storage tubs that are lined up outside. And I think this is where it can be really, I guess, more of an expenditure because you've got to set yourself up with things you would not normally have around the house. You might have an office space that you've already got existing and you don't need to buy any of that stuff. But if you're new to reselling, this is kind of stuff that you're probably going to have to buy for the very first time. So for me, it was, I had to go and buy trestle tables. Facebook Marketplace, huge win. You buy these trestle tables at Bunnings for 60 bucks. You can buy my marketplace for 20. So I actually bought two of these for $40. So I thought that was pretty good on marketplace. Um, these are, I absolutely swear by these lights and I'll talk about them a little bit later on in this video, but I paid $55 for these lights and they have been an absolute dream for me. They work perfect and they don't fill up the room too much either. The mannequin, I actually got that for free. So the mannequin is a huge one for me. I really do, I don't like flat lay. I like to put it on a mannequin when it comes to clothing items. I found it at the tip. So like Facebook Marketplace purchasing, wherever you can try and lower the costs on these necessary items, the better. The other one is the storage tubs. Now, there might be a cheaper way to buy these storage tubs, but it only cost me $7 a tub. And throughout the year, I've accumulated 42 tubs. So I've spent almost $300 when it comes to storage tubs to hold all of my items. When it comes to looking at your listing setup, I've spent overall $379 to deck myself out from a listing perspective. When it comes to actually taking my photos, it's done on my phone. So there's no real, ex no real expenditure there in a camera. Um, so again, just 380 bucks, it's, it's almost a one-off payment as well. Next year, I probably don't have that expense. So again, I thought that was a pretty cheap price. And then the last one I've got is MISC items. So I'm talking car, phone, and internet. Now, all of these expenses for me, whether I had a reselling gig or not, it would be the same expense, but it, it still is a business expense and you still need to be aware of it. But for me, I don't really change too much in the way of what I'm doing from a, a phone, internet and car perspective. Anything that I pay for petrol and servicing, I would do without a reselling business. My phone bill would be the case whether I had a reselling business or not. And the same goes for internet. I'm fortunate that the internet is free. My phone plan is $65 a month and the petrol worked out to be about $2,600 plus servicing on top. So. None of that would change whether I had the reselling business or not, but I do need to put it in this video because it is going to be part of your business expenses. 
And then there are two really big expenses as well. And the first one is postage. This year I spent $13,553 on postage. But then again, the buyer does pay for that. So while it is an expense, it's also covered by the buyer. So it's not too bad. One big scary number though is inventory that I purchased throughout the year. The biggest expense, no doubt about it, for this business. Now, it was scary. It was $24,375. But when I had a look at what I had actually on hand, outside of all the items that went on to sell, I've only got $9,000 worth of inventory on hand. So I thought that was actually pretty cool because it means that I've spent 24 grand, but I've already sold $15,000 worth of that on eBay and Facebook Marketplace this year. So that was actually quite pleasing because it means the sell-through rate for me is about 55 to 60%, which is I think where you want it to be. So I was really happy with that, but it is a huge expense that you guys need to be aware of. And I will quickly say as well that this is just my numbers in the sense of setting up a business. When you add everything up, outside of inventory, outside of postage. It's only been a $1,400 expenditure throughout the year to get myself set up with an office space, have the stationery and have the listing set up as well. So $1,400 to set up a business, there's not a lot of overhead charge there. It's quite low. And hopefully that puts it into a bit of perspective that you can do this on a budget. You can set up a fully functioning business for a very, very low cost. I will say that I'm obviously fortunate with certain things, living at home. I don't have to worry about the expenditure of a storage center or a storage shed, anything like that, which is a huge expense for others out there. Um, so every case is going to be different. Your own situation is going to be different. I can only document my expenses and my expenses have worked out to be a whole lot less than I thought they'd be. $1,400 plus now $9,000 worth of inventory on hand. That $9,000 wasn't initially spent up front. That was trickled slowly, slowly by just reinvesting into the business with my earnings or sales that I'd made throughout the year. So um, never was there any big, huge lump sum put you know, up front. It was only ever $1,400 to get myself set up and that was it. So hopefully those business expenses have, uh, have helped you gain some perspective. Oh, and one other business expense um, is the fees, the eBay fees. So all up, I had $8,458 in fees come out of my overall sales. So that's an expense for sure, no doubt about it. As much as it is inventory on hand and postage charges, you've also got to pull out the expense of the fees. And for me, it's averaged out at being 15%. Uh, for all of my sales on uh, eBay. But then again, I've had a lot of sales on Facebook Marketplace when there has been no expenses as well. So just another one, when you are selling online, you'll always incur fees as well. All right. So a lot of business expenses, there's no doubt about it, but there were three purchases that I made this year that I think every reseller should get at some point on their journey. The first thing are these shoe shapers. These things have absolutely changed the game when it comes to selling my shoes. I used to use old Woolworths and Coles shopping bags, or I used to find butcher's paper and stuff them into the shoe. But until I bought these about four or five months ago, they have completely changed the game. Now, these are just a plastic and metal coil, and they do they are universal as well. So you can fit these into any single shoe, and they will coil to be the right size and shape your shoe perfectly. Now, there are wooden ones that you can get, and uh, these ones, these plastic ones, are only $20 on eBay. I've linked them below in the description, but they are perfect. And if you're trying to get into selling shoes, you're going to absolutely need one of these to make sure that you're getting your best photos. The second item is the Dymo Label Rider, the 450. That's the one that I have. I know there's a lot of different ones that you can get out there, but the Dymo works perfectly for me. And I know a lot of resellers out there will say that the minute they bought themselves a Dymo label printer is the minute they got a lot more efficient with their eBay business. So I still do every now and again run out of labels and have to do the old handwriting process, but I quickly go and get myself some new labels because they are just a very, very efficient uh, way of um, improving your postage. So I've, uh, I've bought that about four or five months ago. It costs me $100, but it again has completely changed the game when it comes to postage. And I do think that if you are getting serious and you are making a few more sales on your eBay account, then you should get the Dymo label printer at some stage. So relatively uh, cheap expense of 100 bucks, but geez, it'll be a lifetime purchase and uh, it'll absolutely make things better for you. The number one best business expense I made this year is sitting right behind me. It's these two, the box lights. Guys, these have been, no doubt about it, the best purchase I have made. It has changed my listings and my photography massively. I used to list throughout the day to get natural sunlight to shine on my photos. And when it came to nighttime, I couldn't list. I bought these for $55 and they've been a complete game changer. So I think for anybody out there, no matter what level of reselling you're at, photos are the most crucial aspect when it comes to selling an item on eBay. So you're going to need great lighting. And these are a super cheap expenditure, $55, and you can get yourself set up with a trestle table off Marketplace for 20 bucks. And there you go. You're good to go and start listing. So I definitely think you guys should 
should check these ones out. Again, they're in the description below for the ones that I have right here behind me. And they're not even that big either. They don't even fill up the room too bad and they are adjustable as well. So I think they're the perfect one to grab. And uh, again, check it out in the description. But they are my top three items that I have bought this year. Winnie, hey, come here. Look, you're on camera, say hello. Winnie and I have got a lot of listings to do because we are yet to do any listings today, but it's been a lot of information today. It's been a fun episode to make. Something I've done for the very first time, talk about business expenses. So hopefully you got something out of that. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and um, leave the video a like and hit the subscribe uh, if you're here for the first time as well. You're right, you're sleepy. Anyway, we've got a lot of listings to do, so you better wake up. And uh, I'm going to edit this video as well and get that one out to you. So thanks for being here, guys. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, keep charging. We'll see you in the next.